People, 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 it's been a long time. Good evening, good evening. You know who it is, Arsenio Buck, reporting live from good old Bangkok. So, I have been away for a long time, and I just have to say that I have been absolutely slammed with work in the best possible way ever. You know what? After the last couple of days, including today, I've realized that my life has been a massive culmination of being just down in the dumps in purgatory and climbing my way out. And now I'm j I just feel like I'm in the clouds. Like I'm in such an amazing state of bliss with what's happening with my life. I can't be any more grateful. Now, as of yesterday, as of today, I ended a two-day project which I made let's just say a heck of a lot but that's not what it was about it was about the opportunity that came with it and i worked at the second biggest company in uh here in thailand and so i did email it was an email writing workshop and i worked with another colleague of mine my uh our australian sidekick and we did an unbelievably phenomenal job. And it's so great because out of about 60 students, probably only one, and I falsely assumed that this particular girl was, uh, let's just say, a little angry or a little closed, a little standoffish, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, she was wonderful. And everyone, we're talking everyone at the end of this, at the conclusion of this workshop, they all came up to take pictures with us and said thank you so much. They were so unbelievably thankful and grateful for what had taken place over the last two days. And this is probably within two days, I've never been able to teach and see the growth within my students that quick as I've done like in the last literally two days of teaching. Like the emails, of course you could say, oh, emails are easy, but there's just so much context behind e uh, emails. Of course, you know, not having a long subject line, there's so many different types of salutations that you have to match with the closing, signatures, so, uh, what is it, the conclusions, the main body, references, uh, different types of emails such as making arrangements and complaints and stuff like that. To be able to cover all the essentials and see them walk out with an amazing understanding on how to write emails as accountants was amazing. <clears throat> and the amount of support and the amount of thanks and the uh, the unbelievable people that I was able to meet over the course of the uh, or two of over two days and taking taxis, which in Thailand could be absolutely disastrous, but taking a taxi to a specific place and giving him a tip just for being great, uh, you know, just being a good guy. Him giving me a big smile, being able to wear my suits, being able to be around with people, women, who are just so incredibly open-minded. Yes, Thailand, women, open-minded. What? Yeah. All these assumptions I made about Thai women. Yeah, now, yes, about 90%, probably 85%, okay, at, uh, at the very minimal 80%, of Thai women do go for those big, fat, old, pathetic white men that do come here in hopes to marry a Thai wife, which is none of my business. And, of course, both of them are just playing the game to their demise. But at the same time, I met some of the most wonderful Thai women at this company, whereas some of them walked by, smiled, checked me out, did this, did that. I mean, and then I... And then here I am saying, oh, all Thai women, all Thai women. Just terrible, terrible assumptions. It's untrue. So that's why I say, you know what, it's time for me to let go of all this. And of course, as of after April, when I came back from Vietnam, I let it all go with the black, 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 black. Because honestly, I was teaching a group of 60 students and not one of them, not one of them gave me a dirty look at all. Not one. And I was expecting probably about half of them to. Can you believe that? I'm just so grateful, and, and it's funny because they'd be like, hey, this really helped, you know, our uh, bank accounts, this and that. I'm like, that's not the point. See, when you're doing what you, what you, listen, people, when you're doing what you love, you no longer really care about the money. You know the money's going to be there, 
And I've reached that point in my life for the first time ever. I know the money's going to be here. But am I achieving what I'm set out to do? Such as actually, you know, having the nervous jitters the first day. Going in there with the shaky voice and my legs were trembling. And, oh my god. Man, I was terrified. I was absolutely terrified yesterday when I first went in there. But you know what? To overcome that and to just have the opportunity and to even put this on the CV and stuff like that, this is unbelievable. And what's even more crazy is uh, next Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is going to be a hell of a lot crazier when I'm teaching 50 university students in Southeast Thailand. So... I'm finally doing what I love. I'm I'm going to places and teaching. And and it's not even about I'm gaining the experience that is needed and I'm becoming a product of myself, which is unbelievably remarkable. That's why I'm just so grateful. I just had to tell everyone. The last couple of days it's just been so crazy, but at the same time I've been just I've been able to find myself, especially in times of adversity, times whereas, you know, I'm hoping that this guy says something so I don't look like a fool or blah, 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 blah. It just all turned out perfect. So I'm just, I'm just grateful. And that's where I've been the last couple of days, achieving one of the greatest goals I've been set out to do. And you know what's even greater about this? Every morning, I haven't even had time to focus on anything negative. And even when I, I, I and even if something comes to mind, I immediately reverse it. And just being away from that shopping center and those types of people and whatnot has been even better. So I'm just, it's just been remarkable. I've just, it's just been remarkable, oh, just a remarkable time. So this has to be one of the biggest high points in my life. The biggest high points is a teaching as a citizen, as a human being, as an African-American teacher, you name it. Being here in this country these last two days have been the most gratifying and the most character building for me. And it's only going to get crazier by next week. And this is what I'm set out to do. The money is now pouring in by the masses, but at the same time, I'm gaining all the experience I need. And I'm just improving Improve, vastly improving every day and just having the opportunity and gaining the experience is what means everything to me. So I'm just so grateful because I've just came such an um, just unbelievably long way. We're talking some one of the most rigorous and tumultuous roads you could ever imagine to get to this point. And now it's here and now it's I could finally just have a breath of fresh air. I'm attracting even the people into my life that I need for this business, for this business, for this business, for this one over here. And I'm ignoring all negative things. So I'm just grateful. And just, you know, I always tell myself that, oh, Saturday and Sunday, these are going to be probably the most annoying days, da 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 But I'm even more excited to go to work tomorrow because I've been gone for two days. So to go back and to see all the girls and do this, I'm just thrilled. With that being said, people, I just had to update update you on that. And you know what? I watched uh, one of Lisa Nichols' videos this morning. And that's definitely going to be my next recording. So you guys, please stay tuned. And until then, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, and evening from all over the world. This is your host, Arsenio. Over and out.